Running Docker containers in your home lab is a great way to self-host services to run modern cloud-native applications in a way that is extremely effective and efficient. If you don't have a Docker container host or a virtual infrastructure where you can spin up a virtual container host, but you have a Synology NAS device, did you know that you can run Docker containers directly on your Synology NAS? With that being said, how do we do this? And what are the best Docker containers for Synology NAS? If you want to know the answer to either of those questions or maybe both, stick around. We're going to dive headfirst into Docker containers on your Synology NAS. I have been running a Synology NAS in my home lab environment for quite some time now. And I think Synology arguably has one of the best NAS solutions out there for home lab and even into the SMB market. The hardware is extremely powerful and the Synology DSM operating system is extremely fully featured with many capabilities and features to speak of. I also think that Synology is on top of the security game for NAS vendors. Synology has a great security reputation and they seem to take security seriously in their product line, their operating system, the third-party software that they integrate into the Synology ecosystem. So that being said, I think Synology offers a great solution. Now, why would you use a Synology NAS device as a Docker container host? Put quite simply, if you have a NAS device that you have running 24 7 by 365 in your home lab network, however, you don't as a yet have a virtual infrastructure or maybe you have just a light virtualization infrastructure that you only run for certain periods of time and you want to self-host services using Docker containers. In my opinion, that is a great use case for a Synology NAS serving that purpose of a Docker container host. And as we're going to see as well, there are specific Docker containers that lend themselves to integrating with a storage device serving the purposes of a media server, for example. And there are many others that you may want to self-host with your Synology NAS device. And again, I think it's a great platform for that use case. First, how do we get the Docker engine installed on our Synology NAS device? Installing the Docker engine on your Synology NAS is the simple process of launching the package center and then simply searching for Docker. As you can see, I already have Docker installed. However, if you don't have Docker installed, you would simply install it here. We've already alluded to this earlier, but perhaps the best Docker container for a Synology NAS device is a media server container. And arguably the one to have among others is Jellyfin. Jellyfin is a great Docker container to run on your Synology NAS device as it allows you to essentially turn your NAS device into a media server. The Jellyfin solution is a free and open source media system that allows you to rip your own DVDs and Blu-rays that you may have in your home media library into the Jellyfin solution and actually stream those movies as you would any other movies from an online streaming media service. And the great thing about Jellyfin is it's free and open source. There are no license fees or no other hidden costs with the solution. So it's easy to simply issue a Docker pull or you can find it on the Docker registry in the Docker engine app on your Synology NAS. Arguably one of the most popular Docker container solutions that many run in their home lab environment and that is certainly found on the list of best Docker containers for your Synology NAS device is the home automation solution known as Home Assistant. Home Assistant is the de facto standard of home automation solutions and dashboards. With Home Assistant, you can essentially control and have visibility and management of all of your modern smart IoT devices and appliances. Many use it to control their lighting to monitor energy consumption, as well as other smart devices, entertainment solutions, and other information that you want to stream to your Home Assistant dashboard. You can install Home Assistant very easily from the Docker registry, simply launching the Docker app from the Synology Package Manager. 
One of the containers found on my best Docker containers list on a Synology NAS is a GitHub repository. If you're wanting to play around with code and CICD pipelines and delve into more advanced topics in the home lab, a Git server such as GitLab is a great way to do this. And GitLab is the one that I prefer to run in my home lab environment. And there are many others out there. GitLab is a great Docker container to run on your Synology NAS device as it allows you to have a fully featured Git server that you can self-host in your home lab via your Synology NAS device. With GitLab, you can not only self-host your own Git server, but you have the ability to spin up a full CI-CD pipeline if you want to play around with more advanced topics and software deployment scenarios in your home lab environment. If you want to run your own email services internally to your home lab network, there are a couple of great solutions that work together called a prize and mail rise that allow you to spin up a self-hosted email server that brings your email communications and notifications into 2023. MailRise is an SMTP gateway that allows you to transform legacy SMTP emails into a modern notification service. It uses a framework called a prize. A prize allows you to essentially use a single framework to communicate with a multitude of notification services. Using MailRise together with a prize, you can spin up an internal SMTP gateway, aka an email server inside your home lab network, and any devices that can only send SMTP or email communications can send the normal SMTP communication to your MailRise server. MailRise uses a prize to then translate those legacy emails emails to modern notification services. Another great solution that you can self-host is a VPN solution for your home lab network. And what better way to have your VPN connector be your always on Synology NAS. One of the great VPN solutions that I really like that you can run on a Synology NAS device is TwinGate. TwinGate provides a great solution to connect to your remote networks and it provides a multitude of ways to spin up that VPN connectivity. It provides a multitude of ways to spin up your connector in your remote network, including Kubernetes, traditional Linux deployments, and many others. However, one of the methods that you can use to provision your TwinGate connector is using Docker. You can run the Docker container on your Synology NAS device. And again, this is a great way to self-host your VPN connector as your NAS is most likely always on and allows you to connect to your remote home network anywhere, anytime. Another great Docker container that you can run on your Synology NAS is a network controller. As many are running Unify devices in their home lab networks and home networks in general, running the Unify controller as a Docker container on your Synology NAS is a great way to self-host that controller without the need for the cloud key device. Installing the Unify network controller is a simple matter of visiting your Docker register on your Synology NAS and simply searching for UBNT. As you can see, the Ubiquity Network Management System is listed there. It's a simple matter of pulling the container and going through the configuration on the web interface of the Ubiquity Network Management System. Another great Docker container found on my best Docker containers for Synology NAS is Portainer. Portainer will allow you to manage all of those containers that you're spinning up on your Synology NAS device, as well as future Docker container hosts that you may very well spin up in the home lab as you bring on a virtualized infrastructure. While the Docker container management on the Synology NAS interface is okay, the Portainer Docker container management for your Synology NAS is a much more robust solution that provides many more management and configuration tools that allow you to interact with and configure your containers much more easily and in a much better way than the default tool that is found on your Synology NAS device. Another great Docker container solution that you can run on your Synology NAS is PyHole. PyHole is a great Docker container to run for filtering and ad blocking in your home network. 
Pi-hole is a great way to protect your devices on your home lab network from potentially unwanted applications, ransomware, and other malicious activity. And in general, it allows you to clean up your network traffic by blocking unwanted telemetry data and network ads that are served to your clients browsing the internet. Running all of those Docker containers on your Synology NAS device, as well as many other home lab resources that you may have running, you want to have a way to keep up with all of those resources and to even monitor those resources. A home lab dashboard is a great way to do that. And the preferred dashboard that I use is a dashboard solution called Dashi. The Home Lab dashboard you see here is built using Dashi. Dashi is a great way to aggregate all of your critical Home Lab services and provide links to those services. And it makes those services just a simple one click away. I have my browser configured so that when I launch a new browser session or a new tab, the Dashi dashboard is automatically launched in that browser tab. You can also do things such as monitoring. Here you see the statistics and system load of a Docker container host, and I can expand the details, view the core information, and other pertinent performance details of my Docker host. Dashi provides a great solution that I highly recommend as one of the best Docker containers you can run on your Synology NAS. Guys, there are arguably many, many Docker containers we could include on this list. However, there are just too many to mention. I hope you've enjoyed this episode where we have covered some of the best Docker containers that you can run on your Synology NAS device. And hopefully this gives you some ideas as to how you can run and self-host Docker containers on your Synology NAS without a dedicated Docker container host running on bare metal or in a virtual machine. Well, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you guys soon.